Okay, guys, we need to cap the point. Hey, man, that's a pretty nice microphone. Where'd you get it? Uh... Hello, welcome to Studios Projects. Today, we're going to be turning an old landline phone into a gaming headset. All right, so apparently it's really easy to take this thing apart. All you have to do is pop out the cord and there's a little tab right there. All you have to do is just push in a fair bit and it will come undone. So. So from looking at diagrams, I know that this is the ground, this is the ah, this is the left channel, and this is the right channel. So since I like talking on the phone with my well, right side, I'm going to solder up the right channel and the ground so that I can, well, when I'm playing video games, I can actually hear it on the right side. And it's not just going to be mono audio. Well, I mean, technically, well, because, I mean, mono speaker, mono audio, mono e mono. So, all right, that's heated up. Let's grab our trusty helping hands. Or I guess not. Eh, we'll just we'll use it to tin the wires. The only problem that I have is that since the ground wire is fully unshielded, I'm gonna just have to throw some extra stuff on there just to make sure that it does not short. Okay. So I'm just gonna get it ready and all tinned up. So I forgot to record myself tinning the wires, but the wires are now tinned, so just gonna be a quick connection and then some hot glue. That's, ooh, okay then. That's one. That's two. So we have the speaker, or no, we have the microphone done now. I forgot which one's positive, which one's negative. So, I'm gonna say that the right, or the left is positive. So, here we go. All right, it's all soldered. That was really quick. I mean, it's literally four wires. So now I'm going to plug it into the computer and we're gonna see what happens. All right, so we now have the phone plugged into the computer and good thing is it did recognize it, so there's some hope. So let's see how it sounds. Hello, this is the phone test. Hopefully you're hearing me. If not, well, that means that I need to do some more soldering. So, let's, uh, let's see if it made noise. Well, I mean, you're gonna hear it, but I didn't, so. <laughs> so it makes noise, and it actually sounds of decent quality. So, I guess you should just buy a landline phone right now instead of a USB microphone, but we'll get to that later. So now what I'm just going to do for safety, I'm going to put some electrical tape around the wires and yeah, then I guess I'll do more testing only because uh, during the, when I was listening to it, these pins shorted and it did make a difference. So yeah, I still cannot believe this actually just, it just works. I still cannot believe that. I ended up uh, actually throwing hot glue on this stuff just because it was a lot easier and I threw some electrical tape on this end. So now, I don't know really how I'm gonna show you how well this part works besides just putting it up to the camera mic. So I have a YouTube video loaded up and uh, I'm just gonna play it. If you know what this is, kudos to you. So uh, here we go. <laughs> I mean, you can hear it. I mean, it sounds good. It sounds like an actual like, phone mic, uh, phone speaker. Like it has that like hollowness to it, which I don't know, bring, brings back memories. So, all right, so now that it's done, I'm going to use either a soldering iron or a drill. Actually, no, I'm just actually, I might be able just to fit it right through there, right through that previous uh, hole. If I can, I'm just going to do that to keep the nice form factor and not do any drilling. And yeah, that'll pretty much just be it. This was, this was a very quick video, I'm surprised. This was not supposed to be that easy. I didn't think that there was just gonna be two normal uh, speaker and microphone out here. Like, I, I didn't know it was gonna be this easy, so. All right, let's do that. So just like I was planning it, just the wires just went right through. 
So, I mean, you can't dial any numbers anymore, but I mean, hey, you got two modern day connections to it. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna fill this up with glue and then well, I guess then we're done. Nah, I'll, 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 I'll do some fun stuff before we go. So, I guess I'm gonna test this just like how everybody else tests speakers. Uh, I'm gonna play Crab Rave. And I'm just gonna hold the phone up to the mic and hopefully you can hear it. So, here we go. So, I mean, you can hear it, hopefully. I don't know if you can, but I mean, it's discernible. It's not the highest of quality, but it's definitely functional. I mean, if I paid more than, I don't know, like $5 for something with, like for headphones of this quality, I'd be pretty annoyed, but I mean, it does work. So, I mean, all I have to do now is just play like this, which, well, I would normally try and play it, but for some reason, uh, the Battlefield game that I was gonna play just doesn't like this. I don't know why. Also, maybe it could also just be the servers that I was playing on, so. So for one of the tests, I wanna see what my friends thought of the microphone. So, how do, how do you like the new microphone? Yeah, it uh, sounds pretty good. It, was it like a Blue Yeti? <laughs> nah, it's a landline phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, I forgot to check the boards when we got to our certain places, but we've dismantled the phone, desoldered and soldered it. Does it work? It actually does! Really well, honestly. And testing, hopefully you can hear the crab rave, and now we get to the fun part, my final thoughts. Well, I guess the first thing was, it really does just work. You just solder two wires to the microphone, two wires to the speaker, and that's it. And these are really cheap, too. I mean, I mean, it really would just be a gag gift compared to an actual headset, but I mean, it works, and it sounds well. The speaker sounds great. And yeah, I mean, it would be really good for people who want to create that old type of microphone feeling or the old type of house phone feeling in uh, YouTube videos, like if they're trying to make skits or something like that. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm really happy. I'm actually gonna keep this and use it, both for jokes and for fun. And yeah, I mean, honestly, if you can find one of these and your parents let you take it apart, I would, I would definitely suggest doing this because all you need is just a single aux cable and you wire it and you just solder it right to the output pins. That's literally it. There's nothing else. It's really just that simple. I mean, you could even possibly just wrap it around and glue it, but I mean, it works really well. So this was a lot quicker video than I thought it was going to be. I thought there was going to be a lot more complex stuff or if I was going to have to deal with the microphone in other ways, but I mean, it just works. You plug it in and it works. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next Sunday at 8 a.m. And we're gonna have a, I, I'm looking forward to the next video. The only thing I can hint is uh, these are gonna be being used. So we'll see you next week. So the video today was a little bit short, but one thing that I did find out after filming everything for the video was that the microphone was actually a lot better than expected. I didn't know that it actually sounded as good. The speaker on the other hand was actually making it sound bad because the way how I was testing it was that I made it so that Windows was listening and playing back the device in real time on the speaker. So what happens when you have a good microphone on a bad speaker? It sounds like a bad microphone. But once I actually plugged it into my computer and I listened to it on my headphones, it actually did sound good, which is very surprising. So yeah. Now we also have another reason why the video was a little bit short today. So if you go and look, I made this thing, the green screen. I found this old projector in the garbage and you, <laughs> like you can see it's a really old projector and I removed the screen, bought a $10 green screen and put it on there. I mean, you can you can literally see the staples holding it in. And I did slice on my hands quite a bit, but honestly, it was worth it. It actually does work. 
I need, what do you call it, my room lights on. I also need two AliExpress lights going on. That's the video right there being edited. That's me. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was, this thing is pretty cool. I mean, it's something like, like something from Elgato would be like 140, maybe like 150 bucks. Cause this is six and a half foot by uh, five foot. So, I mean, it's pretty big. I mean, it sucks that uh, it's very short on the sides and that the thing comes up from the bottom, but I did buy another green screen just because I was able to get for cheap. So yeah, and now enjoy this stuff.